There we go. Oh man, everyone working hard, working hard today. Look at my back, a little sweaty back there, a little sweaty. Um, remember we talked about that family running balance. So I gotta talk a little quieter because everyone is asleep right now. They're take, taking their Sunday afternoon naps and uh, that's when I gotta go get these long runs in. So that's what it was today. Question of the day. How was your long run this weekend or how was your race this weekend? Okay, let us know how you did in either one, long run or race uh, today for me. Um, I, so I posted on Strava, no watch run. What do I mean by that? I promised myself at the beginning of the run not to look at my watch and run all by feel. So good day. It looks like it was 21 miles, right what I wanted. Uh, so I did look at the watch like with two miles to go just because I wanted to make sure I didn't go over 21 miles. But as far as pacing, nothing. Just going by feel. So it was 6.45 a mile, 21 miles. There it is in kilometers on your screen. Great day, solid day, feeling great. Uh, but now the rest of the day, you know the drill, like you gotta jump right into recovery. So I gotta actually stop talking, get the uh, shake in me, get a, a fresh turmeric tea in me, and then I'm gonna show you um, my mobility exercises, okay? Bunch of new mobility exercises that I've, I'm adding to the mix just to work on my hips especially. Um, I just want more uh, mobility in my hips going into Houston, so. Good day, hope you had a great weekend, and ah, that feels good. Good, solid day. Oh yeah, we are gonna open up, you probably see in the corner over there, we are gonna open up some boxes today. I forgot to, actually forgot to open them yesterday, so we will get to that here in a little bit, all right. is tea is ready all right so on the sunday afternoon just trying to communicate exactly what i'm doing to recover from the 21 miles on pavement concrete a hard surface which i would prefer to run on dirt but there's just too much snow outside first of all hot tea to warm up and to uh, get that uh, anti-inflammatory in me with the turmeric but also i'm going to soak now with dr teal's warm the legs up a little bit more before hitting the foam rolling the stretching and then the mobility exercises so i'm going to do my best from start to finish to share with you on a sunday afternoon this is what i do here at my house uh, as a papa of course i'll probably be chasing and playing tag later as well you know how that is yep 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 Hi. Ah. Oh, I just love you, hon. What's the difference between the cheap and the metrics? Metrix. Landmix. I think the quality of blend. Yeah, there's a dog up there. YouTube. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. It is serious. The one that vibrates, you are correct. Good job, guys, going outside in the snow. Because it was a long run, I'm going to use the electric over the regular. I'm foam rolling after a 21 mile long run. Yay! 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 Okay. Let's go face it. Yes. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. 
foam rolling, everyone. No excuses. So easy a baby can do it. Yeah, no excuses. <laughs> so in addition to foam rolling, everyone, I also use the Hyper Ice for my feet. Feels very good. If I had something to hold on, I would just stand on it like this. Woo. All right. Halftime is over. The Broncos are back on, but we're, we're going to keep rolling here. This time with the trigger point, this is the foam roller that really digs into the muscles. When I first purchased it, it I could barely use it because it, it really does hurt pretty good, but your legs will get used to it over time. And I'm not going to use it uh, for as long as I usually would because the legs have 21 miles in them today. So this will... I don't want to basically aggravate the muscles too, too much, but there's just a couple niggles in the legs that I want to take care of right now. All right, Michael, here we go, buddy. And single leg foam rolling is always better. Single leg, it just, it just digs in a lot more. Oh, that feels so good and hurts so bad. Oh. So foam rolling is pretty enjoyable actually, except for on the trigger point. It's the stretching that I've got to put more time into leading into the Houston Marathon on January 19th. I got to stretch more, just more dedicated time. I want to sit in my recliner so bad right now, but instead I'm going to sit on this floor and stretch. Just so you know, you really want to hold your stretches for at least 30 seconds. If you have the time, 60 seconds is, is amazing. Okay, not done stretching. Quick intermission, quick thought on marathon training. If you are signed up for a marathon or you're thinking about signing up for a marathon, you need to get long runs in. You guys know this. Uh, a lot of Some training programs will recommend two long runs, so two 20-mile long runs or maybe 18 miles maybe even 21 or 22 mile long runs. I would recommend three or four if you can squeeze it into your schedule. And this is where planning out your weekends leading up to the marathon is really critical. Get your family and friends in on the loop because there's gonna be certain weekends and you're probably gonna do your long runs on the weekends or maybe if your work schedule is different, it'll be a little different, but uh, the weekends is game time for the long run. Uh, so it's not... <laughs> If it takes you, let's say, three hours, three and a half hours, two and a half hours to run 20 miles, that's actually not, that's only, a, I would say, that's a 50% of your long run activity. Really, you're stretching before the long run, so let's say it takes 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes to stretch beforehand. I usually am right around 10 to 15 minutes. And then afterward, the nutrition. The stretching, the foam rolling, the even just sit, you know showering or maybe jumping in a hot tub or however you uh, rejuvenate yourself, it takes time. I would say, just for scheduling purposes, I have found a good solid long run actually takes closer to five hours, sometimes even six hours if I'm just paying extra attention, like today, to the stretching, the foam rolling. I'm not, you know, mobility exercises, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute. Um, so just make a mental note that your family and friends and loved ones are going to be, um, maybe they can come give you water bottles during your training, like out on the 20, if that's actually not a bad idea to include your, your close people, your peeps, uh, in the training just to get them involved as well. But, uh, it does take a lot of time. It just takes time, everybody. So, okay. Oh, wow. What a run. There we go. There we go. Tea is organized. Got a hot cup right there. Cheers, YouTube family. And uh, wrapping up the vlog here in the house rather than out in the studio because just a little too tired to go set up the lights and the camera and the heater out there. So we're wrapping it up in here. 
quick recap of what I, what I did today. And again, this is not a completely extensive list, but I think it will, I think it gives you a good idea of what I, and I can't do this, trust me, I cannot do this after every single long run, but if the time is there, I do love going step by step just to make sure I wake up tomorrow morning feeling as best as possible during this marathon training block going into Houston. Okay, here we go. So, uh, got home, drink, drank tea, turmeric tea. There we go. Uh, shake with protein, veggies, fruit. Ideally, I would do that 20, min 20 minutes after the run. It was a little later because of uh, naps and everything and the blender and the noise anyway. So I didn't quite get it, but um, then hopped in the Epsom salt bath. Feel just nice hot bath. Uh, I don't know if any day if we would, I've heard mixed reviews about owning a hot tub, but it is tempting. It is tempting. I just love warming up the legs so that I can get out and not stretch, not foam roll. I don't know if you noticed, but actually I kicked up my feet. That's right. Watch a little of the Broncos game. I think it's important as runners to not forget, like we work hard. It's good to kick your feet up and just tune out, relax, and just chill for a second. I, I have a hard time sitting still sometimes. So I kicked my feet up, it was amazing. Then I did the foam rolling, then I did the stretching. Um, and yes, after the stretching, uh, vitamins and minerals. So not saying you need to take vitamins and minerals, but I do, uh, vitamin D, magnesium, uh, an omega-3. Those are just a, a turmeric supplement as well. Uh, so that's not, and again, talk to your doctor, talk to, talk to whoever you talk to as far as nutrition goes, but I do take vitamins and minerals. Uh, now, what I did not film today, is the mobility work. So I feel bad because I think I said I was going to film it. Um, I just, I, there's five exercises I want to show you, but again, I'm just too tired to film it all and set up the camera. So we will make a separate vlog all about mobility work to, for me, all about the hips. I just got to keep those hips happy. So, uh, and then self massage. Uh, again, I didn't film it, but I have my my little kit over there with like, basically it's like an icy hot. It's not, it's, what is it called? Blue. So, well, I have blue emu. I have all sorts of different, just uh, lotions to massage. For example, my left calf is a little tight. And last but not least, because I'm about to pass out, sleep, sleep, sleep. You know the drill. Can I get another REM cycle, everybody? Can I get another REM cycle? I don't know. But according to what I've read, according to my former coach at the University of Colorado, um, our adaptation, I don't want to say all of our adaptation, but our improvement from our training happens while we're sleeping. So the more we can sleep, the more we will improve. Now, I'd love to, if anybody has actually a book out there on this, I would love to read it. Um, anyway, the benefits of sleep for runners, that'd be amazing. So there you go, everyone. Thanks for watching, thanks for being here. That is my marathon training, long run, recovery routine and tips. And again, I could have kept filming and filming and filming because recovery really frankly, doesn't ever stop. All right, everyone, there you go. We're going to toss it back to the sleep vlog on the right. And that it's a good one. It's a good one on the right there. And then on the left, we'll toss it back to the foam rolling one. You guys are the best. Sleep beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.